Today, we're going to be taking a look at a new gaming chair from the folks over at eWin Racing. This is their Champion Series Ergonomic Computer Gaming Office Chair. And as you can see, it also comes with a headrest and a lumbar pill to provide added comfort. I'm loving the blue color scheme and it's got some great features. So why don't we go ahead and take a closer look. Starting off with the base, we can see that the E-Win Champion Series features a pretty standard uh, five-star pointed base, five-point base, however you want to say it. What we don't normally see is a colored base that is designed to match the rest of the chair. Now, E-Win have obviously gone and made the base, the five-star pointed base, blue. Uh, and while it is a different shade of blue to the rest of the chair, it does look nice. You'll also notice that it has the five caster wheel, so it easily glides across pretty much any surface. I've tested it on carpet and laminate flooring, and it glides with ease. It's quite nice. You'll also notice on top of the five-star pointed base, there look, there's some black plastic bits. It look like they're kind of grips, which is nice. I'm guessing um, Ewin Racing kind of knew a lot of people actually rest their feet on top of these, right above the casters. And while a lot of companies don't put grips there, it is nice to see them as this has come in handy from having my shoe or my foot slide off, especially when I'm just in my socks. Obviously, it's not the end of the world if they don't have them, but this is a nice little feature that E-Win Racing have gone ahead and included into their Champion Series chairs. Working our way up from a side view, we can see on the right-hand side that there are a couple of levers and knobs. There is also the armrest there as you can see which is quite nice it lifts up and down now the main lever is going to allow you to move the back back and forth so you can recline the back of this chair does recline to a full 180 degrees so you can lay flat in this chair the other small well it's a bit bigger lever but the other lever below that on the bottom is actually the one that's going to control the gas pump which allows you to lift the chair up or down uh, depending on your desk, you may want the chair higher or lower, or I mean, even if you're just relaxing, you may want to just put the chair down a bit and have a bit uh, easier time reaching the floor with your feet or whatnot. The armrests are nice as well. As you can see, they do also move up and down, which is quite nice. As you can see here, you just lift that button up and you can move them up and down that way. Uh, you can get them at your preferred height. One of the things I thought that was great on this chair is that the armrests already come pre-installed. That's right, both of the armrests are already attached to the base of the chair when you receive it in the box. So that saves you some precious time and agony trying to put it together. Getting our first proper view of the chair from the front. We can see the Ewin have gone ahead, they've added their logo to both of the included pillows, which is all right. You can then also see it on the base of the chair, towards the front where you'll sit, and up towards the top where the headrest is. They've got kind of a nice angled lines going on there with the blue and stuff. And as you can see, especially with the cushions, it all matches up nice. It looks great. Obviously, Enos Tech, we went for the blue because that's just how we do. Now, one of the things to mention here is the lumbar pillow. Normally, I'm not a fan of these, but with the E-Win Racing Chair here, the Champion Series, as you can see, it's a bit taller, a bit bigger than most of the lumbar supports, and it's a bit thinner, so it's not pushing your back out as much. And I've actually found, I stuck with it for a day or two, and I've actually found it to be quite comfortable. Uh, it does help offer you better posture. It makes you want to sit up more straight. And even though your back isn't against the back of the chair, it really does help with your posture, which is nice. So kudos to Ewin for um, including both of those with the chair. Now, obviously, the chair is made from a nice um, leather material, uh, durable fiber leather. And, I mean, it's quite comfortable to sit in. It's real, you know, I've been, I've been using it for quite a few days now. Um, I actually love it. The base is nice and... It's nice and big, as you can see, it's flat, which was real important to me. I've had other gaming chairs that are similar to this, but they've got some raised areas, especially like in between the legs towards the front. And it's not always as comfortable. Sometimes you just want to relax in the chair a bit, but you can't really do that. You can't sit your legs how you want to. So the bigger, flatter base on the bottom where you sit your butt um, is a plus for me. I absolutely 
love it. The nice tall back goes a long way. And even if you take off the cushions, either um, one of them or both of them, the chair is still then comfortable and it kind of forms right around you, almost giving you like a big bear hug. It makes you feel comfortable and sturdy. And again, it still helps you sit up straight, which is great. Lastly, taking a look to the back side of the chair, we'll see again the E-Win Racing up towards the top. Nothing major, that's great. You can also see now uh, the two plastic cutouts here are where the headrest pillow is. And you can see how the headrest pillow is strapped behind. You can obviously just unclip it and take that right off. The same thing with the lumbar pillow. You'll see the two straps on either side. There's two clips. You just unclip them and that's that. Um, real easy to do. Like I said, if you're not a fan of them, they do come off. So it's nice to see that. Again, I personally enjoy them. But with that being said, why don't I go ahead and sit down in it and show you guys, um, give you, let me talk about it a little bit and show you guys a little bit more about it. All right, so here it is. Me, I'm in the Ewin Racing Champion Series gaming chair. Now, like I said, I find it, it's amazingly comfortable. I mean, obviously we would hope so for the size and the price of things. Uh, coming in at roughly 260-ish pounds here in the UK, around, um, $350 in America. These definitely are not the cheapest of chairs, but they are great and they're well worth their money, at least in my opinion. As said, it's got some great features. We've got the armrest again here. As you can see, it's um, seamlessly easy to do that. Uh, you can get them height adjusted uh, where you want. Again, we have, I know it's hard to see, but we have this bottom um, lever here that's going to go ahead and control the gas pump. So as you can see, it just let me down. I just stand up little bit on the chair let it go up and now I'm back up what's also nice is that same lever it allows you to um, lock the chair pulling the lever out allows me to tilt the chair back so if you want to relax a bit you know you say kick the chair down a little bit have your feet on the floor and just you know maybe you just want to rock in it a little bit a tilt back you can go ahead and do that there's also a big turn knob um, under the seat where you put the gas knob in big turn knob so you can go ahead and actually loosen or stiffen that spring up so it's either easier to rock back or it's a bit tighter depending on what you like or you can take that same lever the one that goes ahead and whoop lets us lift the chair up you can push it in lock it into place and then the chair doesn't really rock back at all there's a little tiny play in it uh, just so it doesn't snap but it as you can see that doesn't rock back anymore which is all right you know sometimes you want to be sitting up you don't want to rock back uh, especially when you're working, so that'll come in handy. Now again, as mentioned, we have this lever here, which is going to let the seat go back. And as you can see, ugh, oh, it goes all the way back. Now, I always get a bit worried about doing this, because as you can imagine, I don't want the chair to tip over with me in it. I always just imagine, whoop, feet up in the air. And that'll be the end of it. And then again, you just pull the lever, the chair automatically comes back up. And what I do is I let the chair come all the way forward, and then I just lean in it until it clicks once. And then as you can see, it's in a fairly upright position. Um, that way, it's good for the posture again. Now on to this um, lumbar pillow here. As I mentioned, it's a bit um, taller and not as fat as a lot of them are. But it offers good support. It allows you to sit it right there. I know it's probably hard to see. But it's right there on my back and it has me sitting like this now i can't quite see myself but i feel like i'm sitting up pretty straight oh it feels a little bit stiff because it's not something that i'm overly used to i you know i'm one of them i like to slouch a little bit but this is great especially with the long hours on the computer it really will help your posture and save you from back pain down the road now again we also have the headrest pillow which I've actually gone and I put right here on my neck. I put it right there and it just, you can put your head back. Like I said, if you got the little tilt and action going, it's quite nice. Now, as you've also seen now, the chair does swivel. Yes, it does a whole full three. You can do a full 360 in it. It'll keep swinging and spinning and spinning around. Obviously, I can't do it now. I've got my lav mic all up under my shirt, corded in and stuff. I'll knock my camera over. But it does, you can spin around freely, you know, you can do woohoo, 
spin the kids around in it, they love it. Um, <laughs> not that I'd recommend doing it too fast or allowing them to do it on their own, but they love it. Um, another thing to mention is, again, the chair is quite soft. The leather is nice and soft and the foam inside of it is nice and soft. You can really like feel it, push it in, grab it. Even the armrests are soft. Like, you can take them, they're not hard plastic, they're soft. You can press them in and it's just, it adds more overall comfort to the whole chair. Now again, uh, speaking on the price tag real quick, obviously these are some of the more, they're in, not, I wouldn't say, it's hard to really say with chairs. They're definitely not the cheapest ones out on the market, but there are still some that are more expensive, believe it or not. But I mean, $350 or around 268 pounds, I believe it is here in the UK currently at the moment. Uh, it's a significant investment. And honestly, it is one that is worth it. This is not my first gaming chair, so it's not me just being like, oh yeah, I finally got one for review. Yay, they're awesome. No, this is actually my third uh, review gaming chair, and it's actually my fourth one. I have bought one that wasn't quite as nice. I spent about 80 pounds on one, and it wasn't very good. It was pretty much a cheap office chair that was kind of the leather and stuff, it was kind of fabricated to look like a gaming chair when it really wasn't. So if you're really interested in one, I personally would recommend spending that little extra bit of money, getting one that's quality and something you know you can trust. Now, like I said, this one's going to last me a good long time. It's nice and comfortable. So I mean, for the price, yes, I do feel they're a little bit expensive, but they're worth it. Now, you can obviously also go ahead and sign up to the eWin newsletter or check out on their site. Uh, sometimes they may have a 10% discount code on there for your first order. So things like that always come in handy and are great to see. And overall, uh, I'm really happy with this. To see how easy it is to put this chair together, go ahead and check out the article on the website, which I'll link down below, where I've actually taken pictures of me installing the chair in a step-by-step -step process, similar to what you'll find in the manual, but actually showing the chair itself instead of a sketch of the chair so you can actually get a bit better installation um, if you have two people on hand great if not this can be uh, put together by one person it didn't even take me 10 minutes now obviously I know I've put a few of them together but as mentioned things that comes with the armrest are already installed um, pretty much all you have to do you push the casters into the base you set the gas gas pump thing on it little plastic cover goes over that you connect the back um, to the bottom here on the sides here behind these plastic covers there's two um, bolts on each side you take them out set the chair in line them up with the arms on the bottom put it back in put the plastic on and then you set the whole unit well you've got to also put the um pardon me you've got to put the the lever down here for the gas pump, you put that base on the bottom of the base of the chair, which is another four bolts. So we're up to eight bolts total now and two screws, one for each one of these plastic covers. So that's 10 in total. Then you just set the whole chair, boom, right on top of it. And you're good to go. You're ready to roll away, lean back, lean with it, rock with it, do whatever you want to do. Um, I would just like to say major thanks to Ewin Racing uh, for sending in the Champion Series gaming chair for review. Uh, they're an up-and-coming company. They're definitely well worth and worth looking into. Like I said, currently, if you go to their website now, you can check out the price of their chairs in um, euros, pounds, and American dollars. So obviously, to ship into a few different places, and hopefully they'll get bigger and cover more areas in the near future. So again, big thanks to Ewin Racing. This chair is great. I'm about to put it back over where the computer where it belongs, and um, finish up the rest of the written part of this review. As always, a big thanks to you guys out there, wherever you're watching this video, however you're seeing it, uh, it means a lot. If you can take a minute, like, comment, subscribe, do whatever you can do, uh, everything is appreciated. And as always, please stay tuned in the future for more content.